what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another video in this quick guide i'll be showing you a brand new one line install command to download set up and install Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI is a web interface that you can run locally on your PC using your own hardware to use Stable Diffusion, tons of models, tons of extensions and things like that, text to video, etc. It's an incredibly powerful piece of software, but it may be a bit confusing to set up the first time around. That's exactly what these one-line install commands are. They're basic scripts that I've created in PowerShell that are completely open source. That'll do most of the heavy lifting for you and even handle Anaconda or Miniconda if you have those installed and use them instead of Python. Should you not even know what Python is or don't have it installed, the script will also handle it and install it and set it up for us for use in this. Now, I would recommend having an NVIDIA graphics card to use this with, but it really doesn't matter if you have one or not. Anyways, the script did take quite a bit of time and effort to create, so should you find these useful or enjoy them, click the thanks or join button down below. And without further ado, let's install Stable Diffusion Web UI quickly. On my desktop, I'll make a new folder here called AI Test, but this could be literally anywhere on your PC. See. Opening this up, we have an empty folder, of course. And well, usually I'd tell you to click in an empty spot at the top and type in PowerShell. Instead, just click in an empty spot in the top to select all of the path here, right click and choose copy. Instead, we'll be opening PowerShell as administrator and navigating across here manually. So I'll hit start, type in PowerShell and right click it and run it as administrator. Now inside of this new PowerShell window, type in CD space and inside of quotation marks, control V or right click to paste in the folders path and hit enter. Now you should see we've navigated to the correct folder. That's this folder here. All we're gonna do now is run the one line install command where we'll see some prompts on screen after everything is handled for us. So IEX and inside of brackets IRM followed by auto11.tc.ht. That's auto11.tc.ht and we'll hit enter for the auto installer to be downloaded and begin. Once again, this is all open source and you'll find the code in the description down below. You could also head across to that website in your browser and you'll be able to read all of the source code yourself. First of all, it downloads chocolatey to manage programs on our PC, install new ones, etc. Then it downloads and installs Git, which is useful and required to download and update the Auto 11 package. Right below this, it downloads ARIA 2C for faster model downloads, etc. using multi-threaded downloads. And should you want models to be included in this installation script that you can pick from, do let me know down below and I'll probably add them to the end of it. Anyways, when that's done, it'll go ahead and check to see if we have Anaconda or Miniconda on our PC and prompt us about it if we do. Now, I do have Conda installed, but if you don't know what Anaconda or Miniconda is, this won't even pop up at all. Instead, it'll check to see if Python is installed, and if it's not, it'll automatically install it for you. I'll go ahead and enter Y here, as I do want to use Anaconda to keep a separate environment for this installation of Auto 11 Stable Diffusion. I'll hit Enter, and the installation process should continue. From here, it'll look slightly different to yours, should you not be using Conda, but for the most part, the steps are pretty much exactly the same. It'll download all of the required packages, set up the environment, and it'll go ahead and clone the Stable Diffusion Web UI repository. You can now see a new folder here, and inside of it, all of the Stable Diffusion Web UI files and folders. Returning back to the script, we can choose to enable Xformers, which I would recommend. It'll definitely improve your image generation speed, etc. So I'll enter Y and hit Enter. Then it'll tell us about video RAM usage on our computer. It'll ask us whether we have more than eight gigabytes of VRAM, and you can check this by hitting Control Shift Escape to open up the Windows Task Manager. On the Performance tab, we get graphs about different parts in our PC, and for our graphics card over here, you can see that it's currently using a handful of its 12 gigabytes of VRAM, meaning that yes, I do have more than eight gigabytes of VRAM, so I can enter Y here. If you don't, you can enter No, and a few optimizations will be set up so that it'll use less VRAM, though there is a trade-off that image generation will be slightly slower. Anyways, for the most part, I'll hit yes, as I do have more than eight gigabytes of VRAM and we'll skip past some of the optimizations. We get a few links over here that we can visit and learn about what we can do to the installation to make it a bit better later on. For the most part, you'll be opening and editing the web UI user.bat file here with Notepad or any other text editor. Inside of here, you can see we have Xformers and reinstall Xformers as arguments 
notes and we can edit this later on to remove them or add more in the future. Anyways, would we like to use the web UI over the internet? Should you choose yes here, you should be able to share the Gradio instance with other people over the internet. Though do note your antivirus will probably complain about it and you'll need to add an exception there. But for now, I'll be skipping this as I'm only using it on my PC here. Then do we want to create desktop shortcuts? This is a feature unique to this one line installer for which I'll answer yes. Then it'll download the icon and create a shortcut on our desktop for which you can see here. And now finally, it launches up the actual web UI itself, which will start by installing Torch and Torch Vision required for this to work, as well as any other Python packages and things like that, that the actual program author has decided to do. Everything from this point here was my script. Everything after this point is the normal program running as it would. So the installation script is essentially done at this point. We've now fired up the program. Now, should you want to install this manually in the description down below, you'll find a manual installation guide. But for the most part, I'll wait for this to finish and I'll get back to you with an example of it working as soon as it is done. When the program starts up, it'll download Stable Diffusion 1.5, but I think I'll move this to before the program started just to give the download a serious boost in speed. But regardless, after that, we get a link over here where we can connect and use it. You can either control click to open it or right click after dragging around it to select it and copy it, then paste that link into a browser and you can go there. So I'll say woman waving goodbye generate and just like that if anything's required it'll be downloaded but as you can see here the image is generated and pops up that's it it's now running locally on our pc we can do as many of these as we want and this program's seriously in depth with tons of extensions i'll let you explore these and i do have other content on my channel about this but for the most part that was the one line installer that should make life a lot easier whether you are or are not adept with using Python and other advanced computing things. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this useful. Once again, if you found these scripts particularly useful, do make sure to click the join or thanks button down below. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.